Hey guys, this is Drew Craig with GearWire.com for another home studio workshop. Today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite recording programs, Steinberg Nuendo. Now this program is very similar to Cubase, but it uses uh, more options that are geared more towards film scoring, and it's generally a great sounding and stable program, and I prefer to use it over most other programs. So we're going to walk through some of the features, how it's laid out. This is just kind of an intro video. We're going to be getting into some more details a little bit later on in some later videos. But for this video, I just kind of loaded up one of the songs I've been working on so I could show you how the program works and how it works more particularly with soft synthesizers, live audio, and how it mixes it all together and its unique interface. So take a look. So here you have the, the interface for Steinberg Nuendo. Now this is one of my favorite programs. I'm just going to walk you through a few shortcuts and a few standard things here. So like any uh, recording program, we have our transport window down here where we have our tempo, record, play, stop, loop, all those function keys to get you moving around through your project. Um, it also has a CPU meter and some various other options which are really convenient input and output. Your master levels here in case you clip, you'll know. Um, this is our, our sequencing window. So on here we'll display tracks. Obviously no tracks are displayed as of yet. You go over this area, right click, add audio track, mono, you can select stereo or any type of track. Okay, you can even select 5.0 5 or surround tracks, stuff like that. This program is very, very similar to Cubase. Um, it does offer some, some nice film options if you're into film scoring. That's what I, why I like to use this program. Um, you can also add MIDI, MIDI tracks, really any type of track over here, and then your audio or MIDI would be displayed right here. Now, um, for mixing and levels, before we even get into that, to set up your, your system, um, basically have F2 is your transport shortcut, F3 is your mixer window transport or shortcut, and here you have the audio channel we added and the MIDI channel we added, and through here we can, we can access all of our routing options, like I just chose my input. And you can also choose your output. And if you want to put any plugins, you click the E. And this is basically our pseudo channel strip for this channel, where we have our EQ options. We can have our plugin options. And uh, basically, anything anything is possible in this window as far as plugins routing. You can send the signal to a alternative channel, a mixing group, really anything that you could do in any other program. You can do in this program as well. Um, same with the MIDI channel, you can load up a MIDI instruments, stuff like that, VST plugins, um, all sorts of stuff. 